Well, tomorrow, the U.S. will officially reach its debt limit. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warning that this could include delaying some government payments as the White House refuses to budge on its spending plans. We should be uh, dealing with the debt ceiling without, without conditions. Uh, it is important. We're not going to work our way around this. We're not going to negotiate on this. This is the basic, the basic duties of Congress is to deal with this issue. Then why have a debt ceiling if you're never going to negotiate? GOP Senator John Kennedy sits on the Senate Budget Committee, joins us now. Hey, Senator, are you happy with that tone? No. Look, when it comes to the debt ceiling, uh, everybody wants the truth, but nobody wants to be honest. Uh, here's the truth as I see it. If you're going to have a party, you have to pay the band. If you're going to borrow money, you have to pay it back. That's true as a moral principle and a principle of practicality. And you, you, don't, you don't have to be a senior at Caltech to figure that out. Now, here's the truth part. Congress had a spending party. More specifically, the House Democrats, not the House Republicans, the Senate Democrats and a whole lot of Senate Republicans had a spending party. I didn't vote to do it. I, I would have been happy with a couple of beers after work. But they wanted to have a spending party, and it wasn't just Democrats in the Senate. Um, those bills passed with a lot of Republican support. The omnibus, the so-called infrastructure bill, uh, the, the CHIPS big tech bailout bill, even the, the gun control bill, which passed with Republican support, cost $15 billion. And that's the unvarnished truth. Now, are the House Republicans correct? Absolutely. I mean, the House Republicans have been pretty consistent. Their principle is when you run out of money, you don't get to spend anymore. And I agree with them. And I voted that way in the Senate. But here's what I fear will happen. The House Republicans are going to pass a bill raising the uh, debt ceiling with cuts to spending. I'll support it. But when, when they send it to President Biden and Senator Schumer, those two gentlemen won't even pause their video games to look at it. They're going to say, no, we're not going to negotiate. Default if you want to. Um, I'm working on a bill. I, I don't know if Senator Schumer will bring it to the floor. Don't even know if Senator McConnell will support it. But to try to force the parties to negotiate. I don't know if it will work, but I don't know anything else to do at this point. I do know this. I am not going to vote to default on the debt of the United States of America, even though I didn't run it up. I'm not going to do it. I have a fiduciary obligation to the, to the, to the American people. I'm a senator. I've tried to rise above it, but I'm a senator. And, and I'm going to fulfill my fiduciary obligation. All right, Senator. We'll be watching uh, because the debt ceiling deadline is tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming on. You bet.